Okay, hope, hope everyone can see this, right? So this was last week's uh, this, this revision that we went to taking from Rosai Primary School last year's prelim paper. So it's a um, good paper in the sense that not many people managed to do well, right, for this particular one. The last previous one, there were people who got like 27 something, okay? So Richard was the champion the last I time. I didn't want to do it. You did? did this before. Okay, so it's like a revision. Multiple revision, right? The more you do, the better you get. Right? The more you do, the better you get. So anyway, uh, the previous one, there were people who got 20 something, 27, close to 30. And this time around, our champion is uh, Fuja, right? With 20, right? 20 marks. 20 and a half, is it? 20, okay, so 20 marks. Right, later on, uh, we will show you some of the good answers. Okay, last week we showed the funny answers. Uh, this time around, we will show the good, the, the good ones. Okay, the good ones, okay? So we can learn from them. Now, let's take a look at question number one. Okay, let me go to the doctor. Okay? So any head blocking your mouth this time around? Okay, this <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at this question. Now, this type of question seems very popular, right? This type is the, you know, you cut off the bar somewhere and then something cannot pass through. Now, when you remove the bar uh, at this area, what cannot pass through? Or what is being removed if you only cut the outside? If you only cut the outside, what is being removed? The... Yeah, food carrying tube. What's the what's the name of the food carrying tube? Slum. Slum. Flu flu work. Slum or flu work. Slum work. P H L O E S. Okay. So when the slums are removed, uh, water can still go up, but the food cannot come down. Okay. That means water can still go up because water carrying tubes are in the middle. So water can still go up, but food cannot come down, right? So how come the branches? Uh, what is it that those uh, ball fruits? Okay, branches above cut X ball bigger fruits. Why? How come branches above X here, right, had a uh, bigger fruits? Uh, it's because there was more food made by the leaves above cut X, which cannot be transported downwards. The food cannot be transported downwards, so they're stuck at the top. Right? So they're stuck at the top, therefore the fruits become bigger when, uh, you know, over time. That's it. Yes, I can see now. Okay. Any blocking you? I can only see you wish that. You want to sit in front? No? I can make it like slightly bigger. Then uh, you, can, you can look at your. This is a right? So, this type of question is very popular, right? You like to ask. This is like the second time we have seen this already, okay? So, the next one. Which one would fungus first appear on the shoe? And you must explain your answer. So it is in box R. Now why is it box R? Because of two conditions. Okay, warm and damp. Right? The two conditions are just warm and damp. So some of you only wrote warm and damp. Okay? But you never explain why. Why why is it that when it is warm and, and damp? Uh, therefore, the fungus will appear first, right? Because uh, the warmth and damp or wetness are the conditions for fungus to grow. Okay, they are the condition for the fungus to grow. So some of you only talk about warm, right? Some only talk about being damp, right? You don't get the full marks. Uh, I think I explain everything here. Okay, right? No, no problem with this, right? So no problem, it's quite okay. Uh, almost everyone got this correct. Right? Next, let's go ahead, next one. Okay, so while showering, guys notice patches of uh, black mold growing on the ceiling surface. Right? On the ceiling. So it's like this, you know, the mold at the ceiling uh, surface. So her mom advised her. The mom advised her to open the bathroom window. Why? Why is it that when you open the bathroom window, you will not get this mold at the ceiling? Because you allow the water vapor to escape and the water to evaporate faster when you open the window, thus keeping the ceiling dry and preventing growth of fungus. Right? So a lot of 
you talk about um, something like water vapor or dry dryness, but it is really about evaporating faster. Then I talk about the evaporate faster. It's about letting them evaporate faster. Okay, right? Why? Because there's more wind. There's more wind. Some uh, of you talk about air circulation. Uh, also can, but I'm not sure if I came to the full marks. Okay, you have to check. All right. What is yours? Okay, so some of you talk about uh, the water vapor, right? So it's dry, but you never talk about evaporating faster. It's about evaporating faster. When you open up, more wind, so evaporate faster. Okay, and therefore, keeping the ceiling dry and no more fungus. Okay, next one. We are at 32. You were not here last week, so you, you, you look at the other one. This one, yeah? Okay, next one. Dengue fever. Right? Uh, almost everyone got this correct. It's about the relationship between the temperature and the length of the life cycle. So as the temperature increases, the length of the life cycle decreases. Okay? Some of you put it in another words, right? But uh, as soon as you get the idea, it's not correct. Why? See, as the temperature increases, the length of the life cycle decreases. Meaning, the warmer the weather, the more mosquitoes. You understand? The warmer the weather, the more mos mosquitoes. Okay? Which is why, um, in tropic countries like, you know, tropical countries like ours, uh, you get a lot of dengue fever problem. Why? Africa. Sorry? Africa. Africa, probably. Yeah. Right? So we get a lot of dengue fever problem. Why? Why? Warm temperature. Uh. So the life cycle shorter. Life cycle shorter means what? Like more adult mosquito. Right? There are more adult mosquitoes. So that's why um, I think in Serangoon Garden there's like a red zone uh, somewhere yeah. over there. Near your school, right? The they put, area. Yeah, they put this very big banner, right? Red yeah. zone. What does it mean when it's a red zone? Certain number, I do not know exactly what's the number, but that means uh, there are a certain number of uh, dengue fever cases. Uh, people actually can die uh, no, from dengue fever, so you must be very careful. Okay? You what? Yeah. yeah, I also got dengue before, right? In the army. Why? Wow, we went to the jungle, you know? There are a lot of mosquitoes, right? Okay? Next. Yeah. But she's yeah. suspected of having Zika and she's coming to school. Then I'm like, they will always teach you the first time. If you are suspected, you won't be going to school. Yet. Okay, next one here. Okay, so why is there a sudden uh with this sudden increase in the number of dengue cases? How does it give a reason for the sudden increase in relation to the life cycle? So it's about more rainfall. So when there's more rainfall, there is more places for the mosquito eggs and reproduce. So why why can't I use the word breed? Breed can I? Breed yeah, so much means, you know. What do you write? So what what, what do you must be something weird? Uh? No, it's not about the temperature. The answer is not about the temperature. The answer is about the rainfall. There's more water. You talk about the temperature. They're not asking you about temperature. That's I did a whole paragraph and you must be wrong after circling the word temperature. <laughs> no, okay, that means there's something wrong, you see? You have to read you have to read properly, right? No, there's is this this question is about the rainfall? You know what I mean? They're not they asking you they about. They didn't ask. They didn't say rainfall. They, yeah. They, they also never say. They say number of dengue cases yeah. related to the life cycle. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what. Wait. 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 Okay. Why let me check. May to August. Okay, you have to look at the diagram, you know. What does the diagram show here? Look at this. Look at this. What does it say? 
Average amount of rainfall. Yeah, I don't know why you need the temperature. It says average amount of rainfall. Why why you all talk about temperature? Right? Okay, so it's about rainfall. Now that does it make sense or not? When there's more rain, there's more mosquitoes. I think when there is more rain, the temperature of the water will be. Cannot be. It's not about temperature. It's about more places for them to breathe. Uh, because I thought that the graph was top is you know, temperature, right? Water. I I thought you said temperature. Let's see properly. See, okay, right now, how much water does the mosquito need to breathe? One ml. One ml. Uh, the the width of a twenty cent coin. Okay, they only need like the width like that, just like that only twenty cent coin. Then they can give birth already. Give birth. They can breathe. No, they cannot give birth with you. <laughs> give birth with you. They can lay the eggs. Okay. Next one. Okay, this is very long, right? Tell me I got it correct. Yeah, you got it correct. Okay. okay, so this question this question is difficult to answer, right? Why? Because they ask you to describe how the two systems right, uh, work together to ensure the circulation of gas cube. And what's gas cube? Shorter, Oxygen. Shorter sentence. Can I try to summarize? Okay. Yeah. Why the one? Let's see. So please only two sentences. So only way we can recognize that you can summarize that. Oh, you don't talk about circulation. Where, where is your circulation? You only talk about the respiratory system. What the respiratory system do? Talk about you never talk about the circulatory system. Right? You, you, mentioned, wait, like, you mentioned the blood vessel and all this, but you never said that is part of the circulatory system. When you say circulatory system? No, you see, they ask how the two systems, you know, respiratory and the circulatory work together. So you say, you started off with the respiratory system, da 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 stop. Okay, then what about the circulatory system? Right, then talk about the circulatory system. Then the heart will pump the oxygen. I see. Oh, you never explain how the circulatory system works. Right. I said the heart will pump the But heart. the heart is not the circulatory system. The heart is part of the circulatory system. You oh. know what I mean? You know what I mean? Right? Almost same as this. No. Huh? I don't get it. No. She, she mentioned, oh, then the heart will pump and circulate everything throughout the whole. Circulatory system. So I just need to talk about the function of the circulatory system, then my answer is yes. Yeah. Okay, so here talk about the both the circulatory system and the respiratory system. As you can see here, first part we have the circulatory system, what does it do? And then after that we talk about the respiratory system, what does it do? Right, so both, we must talk about both. You cannot just say one part, one part you're not going to get the full marks. Okay, for this. Uh, particular question, right? When I'm typing, you also not enough space, also. Write the answer. Okay? Then we're going to see uh, some of the good answers, right? And then you realize that all the good answers are quite lengthy. Right? It, it write a lot of stuff, okay? Never shortcut, right? It's not shortcut. Uh, very diligently writing out all the answers. Okay? So this time around, Richter write too fast already. Okay. Right, last week he was the champion. Uh. This week not, no more champion. Okay, go too fast. Fourteen, I think. We don't have so much time. I only gave you all 30 minutes. Right? That's yeah, half the time. Yeah, half time. We give you half the time, no? Half the time. Right? <laughs> yeah, exam is double. Yeah, so hopefully you can double your marks, right? One mark you have, you can double it. Because you have twice the amount of time, no? But if you spend your time, uh, 
sleeping, daydreaming. daydreaming. Uh, then it's a waste. It's kind of a waste of time. Okay, go on, next one. Go. Alright, so this is about. Okay, which color should he use to shine? Uh, to allow the fish to survive the longest period of time. Uh, so it's blue. Why? Because blue light. Uh, when the blue light is shone, the most amount of photosynthesis takes place. The blue light was what? Shawn. 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 I'm not talking about the Shawn, okay? Shawn and the bigger. You know how do you pronounce? Shawnee. Uh, Shawnee? Okay, the most amount of photosynthesis took place. Now, once again, those are people who got only one mark. Uh, you probably only talk about photosynthesis. One. You probably only talk about photosynthesis, or you only talk no, about, about the Oh, this one I didn't see. What is that? No. Did, I, did I put one? No. I put a tick, ah, so it's two marks. Yeah. Okay, if you had like one mark, maybe you only talk about photosynthesis, or you only talk about the fish. You have to talk about both. Okay? Any anybody copying this? No? Yes? Okay, now those who did not get uh, very high marks, you realize that it's because your answers are all very short. Just like one sentence, very, very simple, five words, six words. Oh, I read like seven words. Wait, two paragraphs and then I get zero marks. Oh, Answer wrong one. So one bad question I read like eight lines. Um, two bad questions the teacher has to paint before she finishes reading. <laughs> I waste so, so much on my ink and it's zero. Not really. Maybe answer the wrong thing. Right, answer's wrong. If the answer's wrong, you can write one full sketch with your staple and full sketch over there also no wrong. Actually, it's not the best full sketch. I I mean, if you write one whole essay or composition also no use, right? You're not gonna get any marks. No, literature book. What? You write one book there. 15 minutes, you can write one book. First half of the term, my teacher spent her whole time telling us, write log, write log. Then the second half of the term, now she's telling us, write short. Write short. Okay, uh, write the correct thing. No need to think about log or short, okay? Write the correct thing. Teachers are weird. No offense. No, write the correct thing, right? Okay, next. Oh. Huh? No. Because the next one got more, no? <laughs> okay. Fish to what? Breathe. Okay, so what's the relationship between the amount of carbon dioxide and the average global temperature? Alright, everyone got this correct. Right? Okay, so nothing to worry about on this. Very obvious. Temperature, uh, carbon dioxide increase, global average temperature increases. Right, so next one is about why is it that when you plant trees, you will reduce the rise over time? Reduced carbon dioxide. Ah. Oh. Okay. Do I need to bring it home? What? What is it? You want to copy all that? Do I get to bring it home? Yeah, of course. Oops. Replanting trees will increase oxygen level in the surrounding and reduce carbon dioxide. Okay, when the amount of carbon dioxide decreases, you will trap less heat and reduce uh, global temperature, right? So, um, you see, the, this, this one, this, this part, right, is about how you plant trees you reduce the temperature, right? So you, you see, you start with planting trees. Plant trees, okay? What happens when you plant trees? Now at the end, you must talk about reduce temperature. So there are several steps in between. If you skip, 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 straight away, jump, you cannot, right? So plant trees, then there is uh, more oxygen, less carbon dioxide, Okay, so trap less heat and therefore reduce temperature. You see, this is the sequence. Even though it's one mark, it's the problem, right? If you go by the number of marks and how much you should write, that, that, that's not correct. If you go by, what's the beginning? They say, plant more trees, how to reduce temperature? It's like that, the sequence is like that. That's it. 
Okay, so it's not about how much you write, it's the, the sequence. Okay, can I add? Okay, you understand? So, for example, if you write, oh, you can't more trade, there's more oxygen, and therefore, temperature reduced. Right? Don't make sense, right? Right, doesn't make sense. Or you say, oh, can more trade, less CO2, then reduce temperature. Also, don't make sense. You must say, trap less heat. Less heat is trap. Okay, less heat is trap. That's it. Okay. Is this okay? Next, no? No, still have a lot more to go. You, you, you can copy this. Hey, 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 look at this. No, no, no. You see, copy the idea. The idea is here. This one. Yeah, this, 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 this. Right? This is, a, this is the main idea. This is explaining the main idea. This is the one mark, one mark over here. Okay, that is how we explain this thing. Essentially, you only make this thing inside. Okay, I go on next one. Okay, easy, it's just easy. Uh, two physical factors. The survival. Right, this is easy, very straightforward. This one. Okay, so um, how does the adaptation help NMAX? Okay, so when it has a streamlined body, it reduces friction between the body and the water, causing it to overcome less water, it will move faster. <coughs> what if it has a covered mucus? Everyone got this wrong. Okay, the covered mucus thing. Why does this animal cover itself with mucus? But it covered mucus. <laughs> yeah, it covers itself with mucus everywhere, right? Slimy, slimy stuff. Why? Because it tracks moisture to keep the body cool when the moisture evaporates. Uh, when the moisture evaporates, keep the body cool. So you need mucus. So he needs like he smears the mucus. Everywhere. Okay, adaptation is a physical, uh, sorry, behavioral uh, adaptation. Yes. <laughs> right. That's how that's how it keeps cool. Right. So, uh, part C. Explain how the change in activity level during the hot and dry season affects its breathing rate of breathing. So, as the activity decreases. Uh, there's lesser oxygen taking in, taken in. Right? Why? Because uh, when there's less activity, you breathe less. So less oxygen taken in. Okay. Any questions for this? Uh, I think everyone got this wrong. Who got this right? I don't think anybody got this right. Yeah. Oh, you got this. You were not here, right? <laughs> 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 yeah, you got this. Okay, everyone uh, I, got I say it. Okay, everyone got it. I say keep it walls. Make sure I'm not wrong. Let me see. Later, you get correct. The sheep power. <laughs> He's the mm -hmm. only one who finished everything, you know? Not him. Oh. I think so. Oh, anyway, I think you also finished everything. Me? Did you finish everything? No, I don't know. Uh, wrong, right? You got everything wrong. Hey, Jai, you don't want to leave. What? You say it's to trap oxygen. No, it's not true. Not for me, I said I trap more. Trap more for what? It's trying to keep cool. Okay? I don't know how you want to trap. Yeah, it's trying to keep cool. So, can you cool for break a bit earlier? No, let's finish this and go for break, alright? Okay, next one. Okay, so they're asking which hair, uh, which product has improved the hair quality the most. 
Yeah, your this notepad broke. Yeah. So you see. Okay. Well, I never finish. C. Why? Because a good quality hair must absorb moisture and retain it. So C uh, absorbs the most water and oh. causes it to sink immediately oh. due to its heavy weight. See, the, the hair sinks immediately, yeah. showing that it absorbs the most water. Then, it, then you know what I do. Right. I just could see the hair sinks immediately, showing that. <laughs> right, so no, no explanation at all. Okay, see. The question no. that I was trying to ask you for the answer. So he must absorb, right? The hair must absorb all the moisture that is considered good, good hair quality, right? If the hair cannot absorb all the moisture, it's not good quality. Okay, so how to measure? Uh, what result should be measured? Test two: How much hair is stretched? And yeah, what? Why cannot? Why can't I say make sure the hair is identical? The hair is what? Identical. Identical. No. What result do you measure? That means, uh, what do you want to check? Why do you want to check whether the hair is identical? Oh, so, oh sorry. I'm talking. I thought you're talking about question C. Oh, no, 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 C. So based on the table, what must the company do to ensure that the investigation is fair? <coughs> the amount of hair is the same. The amount of force is the same. Cannot be identical hair. Because you already do one something to this hair and then you do it again, it cannot be. Like you use the one strand and then you perform all the tests on one pair of hair. Right? Multiple, but from the same, uh, the amount. Alright. You also cannot perform, um, uh, use a tree product on the same hair. You can't use the same product, three different product on the same hair. You have different results. Okay, next. Move next one. Right, so the next one, uh, ACB, I've shown there. So. Which one is most suitable for windows in a house during winter? Right, so C is the most suitable. Why? Yeah, C is which glass ABC is most suitable for the windows? Wait, wait. Yeah. Let me check again. After 20 minutes, it measured the temperature in each car and recorded the result as shown. Okay, at first it's 70 degrees, and then after it's 60 degrees. You measure the temperature of water. Okay, um, now what's wrong with cup A? Huh? Yeah, you see, you see, A is very good in retaining temperature, correct? But what, what, what's wrong with the structure? Double layer. Okay, now what's wrong with double layer? It's not feasible for all homes to have double layer. You can't. But it's not feasible. Why not? Because you can use a thick layer. Why you want to go use double layer? Because it's more, it's more insurance. It's more effective. Yeah, it's more effective. More but it's not, no, it's not suitable. It works one layer, one layer. <laughs> because yeah, uh, glassy, why, why glass. No, A, A can, uh, if you are Bill Gates, uh, right? you can put 5 layers uh, because people will sniper shoot you uh, while you are at home. The richest man on earth. Richest man on earth. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah, he found it in my pencil. Right. Yeah. He's going on to be the world's first trivia dad. Oh, how do you know? I read it. You read it somewhere, yeah. Okay, the next one is, now the next thing you can do, hello, the next thing you can do is to put a layer of fill, okay, on the glass. So if you put a layer of fill on the glass, when you put a layer of film on the glass, you have the same effect also sometimes, okay, why? How does it help? Because when you put this translucent uh, layer, the glass becomes translucent, it reflects heat away, uh, preventing heat gain, which will keep the house cool. Yeah. Right now, most cars Singapore, all right, on the road has got this fill, this layer. Most, most, right, about 90, 99 percent of the vehicle. Why? Because Singapore is very warm, very yeah. hot, very warm, right? If you don't like have, yeah, if you don't have this layer, the vehicle will become very hot, right? Can you imagine if the temperature becomes minus 2 degrees? But oh, Singapore, I wish. I wish. it will never happen in our lifetime. Okay. <laughs> it will keep going up. Right? The, 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 the temperature will keep going up. Right? Okay. Finish. Finish. Next. No, no, we can't wait for Okay, this question. <laughs> okay, this question. This question is about uh, cleaning the fish tank. Right? So you have two magnets. Okay, how to use these two magnets to, to clean the fish tank? So the solution is to put one inside and then one outside, right? So when you move, when you move the one outside, the one inside will move as well, okay? So as to remove the L gate. Uh, not very popular, right? It's not very popular because so it's not. So why cannot say put the magnets? Uh, like put place a magnet inside the tank and one outside the tank yeah. and then use the magnet and uh, move the magnet towards the LV door. You only need one. Oh, you never say that when you move the one outside, the inside also move. <laughs> you must say uh, when the one outside move, the one inside also move. You say put one inside, put one outside, and then clean the LV. Clean. Yeah, that's what you say. Put one inside, put one outside, and the LV will be removed. No one, you must move Magic the one outside, sense. okay, and then the one inside will move together. Yeah, they don't like gold. Yeah, it's greenish color. That, that's I a sponge, right? Isn't that a sponge? The black yes, color uh, stuff? No, the black color is the algae. Oh, yeah, the drawing bag. Algae. This is a rosa, you know? Rosa. Then I'll be the one who cannot be. Next time you become teacher, uh, then other oh, people will say. It's a fact. Why? Can I say that? You know how you draw okay? Huh? Oh, okay. How you draw okay? okay. I, want the I just draw. put. I um. I just write. I just write. I'll be on the thing. I mean, like, so no one can criticize me. We draw better than the just put ink on the. <laughs> <laughs> so because the algae is very thick, one, right? Very thick, uh, light also cannot pass through. I almost slipped on the algae before. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, it can be very dangerous. Uh, no? Swimming pool, right? Or uh, at I home. I slipped on the algae, I slipped on the algae. In the swimming pool. Mm. Okay, so what is the property of the magnet? Okay, this is uh, magnetism can pass through non magnetic material because the glass is the non magnetic material. Okay, that's the special property for how this one can work. If the fish tank was made of metal, uh, it would not work. But no fish tank is made of metal. Unfortunately, yeah. Unfortunately, for the right. 
Uh, this is the second time I see this type of question. Meaning you have one magnet outside and one magnet inside. Picture the rest we haven't do. Huh? Do now? Next? Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> okay, so the question is uh, how does it work for the striker to hit the bell once? Now, some of you only got one mark, even though you get the full explanation. You know why? Because you never see switch off. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now look at this, look at this. Hit the bell once. Hit the bell once. Yeah. They just want to hit it one time, right? In the answer, in the answer they specify, you must switch off. So that. the key point, the, the key one mark uh, answers are hit the bell once and switch off after that. No, 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 no. You must explain how the thing will hit the bell once. The thing will hit the bell once. Then switch off the dead. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Because they specify, you know, hit the bell only one time. Actually, actually, you give me two marks for one really. question, you see? Not really. Two, yeah. No, la, yeah, it's half, half. Half. You got two, eh? I got thick and cross, right? Yeah, you got thick and cross, then give me another thick. So one plus one minus one equals two. One plus one, one minus, minus one equals two. My math is very good. No, is it eight. 1 plus 1 minus 1 is 1? Oh, yes, 8, oh. 1 plus 1 minus 1 is 8. Your voice is horrible. Okay, <laughs> okay you, 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 you get the idea. Now, in the first place, in the first place, the, what was the science behind this thing, right? It's an electromagnet, okay? Electromagnet. Hey, do you Do your work, okay? Now, it's about an electromagnet where you switch on, the thing becomes an electromagnet, and then it gets attracted to the... Um, uh, iron, okay, on the spring, and then it will come down and strike the bell one time. Then switch off, okay. Wait, wait, I just supposed to like switch off after that. Yeah. Just switch off after that. Because okay, because of this, hit the bell once, only one one time, like boing. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> the bell rings, ah, ding. Yes, Ryan. Why you laugh at me? Huh? I'm not laughing at you. I said Ryan. Okay. Next one. No, you just just get the idea. Okay, you need to copy word for word, right? You get the you get the idea, then it's fine. Shorter, shorter. What? B. What B? B. What B? Oh, where's the B? Where's the B? Where? I don't have B. Oh. Uh, yes, uh. But you won't get too much. <laughs> okay, so what's the advantage of having uh, an electromagnet? Um, it will not lose magnetism. It's temporary. Yeah, it's temporary. Then you, that's why you give me a tick, then you cross, then you tick. Uh, because I'm thinking, right? Should I give you the mark? Your thinking shows it. Yeah. Okay, it's temporary because once you switch it off, right, uh, it's not an electromagnet anymore and it will not ring the bell. Okay, if not, you keep ringing the bell, you know? Ding dong, ding dong, non stop, right? Next. No? Next. Okay, next one about the energy level. Right, electrical, kinetic, kinetic, heat, sound. Because you got a lot of wrong. So you got a lot of, a lot of wrong. Okay, uh, someone put frictional energy. Frictional energy. What's wrong with that? Frictional yeah. energy. Yeah, so wrong. Uh, okay? Wrong. Cannot be frictional energy. Okay? No such thing as frictional energy. It's a force. So, why the train uses more electrical energy when nose 1 was used? So, if you use uh, nose 1, you have to look at the shape. It's less streamlined, causing it to have more air resistance. So more electrical energy is used. 
to overcome the air resistance. Later we will take a look at the good answers, okay? There are some good answers. So the question is, how the kingfisher's wing enables it to dive in the water without a big splash? Uh, the, nose, the nose is actually... It's a beak. Yeah. <laughs> Where, where's the nose? The nose is like two dots, you know, on the, the top of the beak. No, no, no. <laughs> No, that's not a nose. So the big, uh, the sharp big and the design with very small amount of pressure. Because the surface area is small and sharp, allowing it to overcome air and water resistance. Okay? Now this, this concept, right, um, if you don't know, it's okay. Why? Secondary school concept. Okay, pressure. Smaller area, uh, uh, it's a smaller pressure to pass through. The water. Okay, so you don't know it's understandable. Right. King Fisher. But you understand this thing about overcoming air and water resistance, right? You can penetrate the uh, water and air resistance, right? Because of the sharp beak. That's why it's called a kingfisher. What does it do? It catch fish. How does it do it? It dives into the water with its sharp beak. Okay, not a sharp nose. Right. Next. Next. Okay. What's the temperature of water at the start of experiment seventy? Uh, why were both setups placed in the same basin to ensure that it's fair test because the temperature is the same? Right? Yeah, this is quite okay. Straightforward. Huh? So, why 70? Uh, at the start. No, you see, uh, she observed water droplets on the other side of the glass leads. Both of them, no? That means the temperature must be above 60. 61. Cannot, uh, 61. It must be warmer. 100. Then you get Hundred degrees. Uh. Mm -hmm. The water will be just like that. Can argue? Shouldn't put hundred. Uh. Right. Just warmer. That's not like warmer. Okay. Right. This one. Oh, this is a. Uh, very difficult to explain. Okay. Yeah, you can do This one is okay. All this, you know, this type of energy changes. Okay, is the uh, can take photo go home and copy. Can take photo and take picture. Really, really, okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, one person yeah, take picture, then send to everybody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know you're supposed to take picture. Huh? Like, you, you don't have. You don't like group chat. Yeah. So you don't have. Don't oh, you don't have. Go and figure out a way. Okay. Yeah. Next. Okay, so you take picture. Now this energy conversion. Uh, the question is asking. What's the relationship between the high and the amount of potential energy, right? So as the high decrease, will possess less uh, gravitational potential energy. Okay, and about the different, at different times, you see, because of this, this person, I'm at, came down and up and down again so they want you to explain what happens when it's at the top and then when it comes down then it goes up again and then it comes down again right? what happens to the potential energy? No, if you jump from 60 meters if you jump from 60 meters yeah, but this is the armor actually no, of course you lie you know how tall is 60 meters? that's like I have 20 stories high 20 stories each level is about 3 meters. 3 meters, yeah. Oh, yeah, very good. That's very fast. I have 10 stories, you know. You jump out of 10 stories. Hey, that is simple, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's very, very high, okay? But he survived, you see? Who survived? Ahmad. 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 R.I.P. Ahmad. That was an easy One time I accidentally called my Ahmad. Okay, so uh, part B is difficult, right? They ask about uh, what happens to the total amount of energy. Now you must remember, energy is neither created nor destroyed, so it's always the same. So the only thing is that it's been converted to something else, right? So energy conversion happens. That means from gravitational potential energy converted to kinetic. Energy. It's not created, it's not destroyed. Okay, it's always being converted to something else. Okay? So, uh, part B is actually very, it's a unique question, okay? I, I didn't come across this uh, many times. In fact, it's like one of the first times I've seen this being asked. Okay? Okay? No? Okay, do you, do you understand? Yes. Conversion of energy? Yes. It's not converted or, or, or it, I mean, it's not created or destroyed. Yes. It's always converted. Yes. yes. It's always converted. Ah, come from where? The main source? The sun. Sun. Then where does the sun get its energy Your from? Your sun. <laughs> <laughs> Now where does the <laughs> sun get its energy from? What, what, what's happening in the sun, actually? Fire. Fire, okay, where where the fire comes from? The sun. <laughs> no, it's a nuclear reaction, okay? You know nuclear bomb? Like explosion? Wait, so they threw a nuclear bomb in the sun and then no, no, no. they <laughs> The sun is like... Millions of nuclear bombs exploding, non stop. Some bigger than Earth. Huh? Some bigger than Earth. Yeah, of course. It's like, don't know how many thousand times bigger. It looks like a million times smaller. I love it. Can you take out everything to leave on the sun? Is it possible for anything to leave on the sun? No. Right, so you get explosion, like explosion again and again and again. If you injure, it's actually possible. Yeah, you can go out, right? No, the whole thing explodes again and again. So imagine explosion. Explosion creates what? Heat, right? Heat and light. So the heat and light come all the way to Earth, right? So how long does it take to reach Earth? The heat and light. Huh? Yeah, it's correct, okay? 15 minutes. That means if there's explosion over there, like, okay, like, you're receiving the light right now, the sunlight, all this, right? Uh, 15 minutes ago, the light that you see was at the sun 15 minutes ago because it takes 15 minutes for the light to come here yeah it's very far away okay so whatever light you're seeing now it takes uh, 15 minutes to travel you have to travel no not this light 
No, not exactly. It's between 10 to 15 minutes, right? It has to pass through. So the light that you see right now actually went through outer space, passed through the other planet, and came past the moon. And then yeah, but it's not yeah. alive. Yeah, it's not alive. But once it reach here, what happened? What happened to the light? Once it reached No, go into your eyeball box. <laughs> no, uh, then that's why you can see this thing. Uh, you can see. Okay, yeah. you can see because the light reflects go inside. Uh, so you receive the light as well. Uh, light energy uh, goes to you. Okay, and most of it, of course, is uh, used for photosynthesis. Okay, next. Ah, that's all. Okay, good morning. Yeah, that's all. Let's take a short break. Okay.